Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the planetarium kit and here are some of the stuff that I might be using. This is a Technique Tuesday stamp and it's called Cheer and some pink paisley arrows which I don't end up using and that stamp set is Balzer Design. I don't know what the name is. Tickets is what it's called. And the banner one is from Technique Tuesday and it is called Banner Up. And these little stamp sets were just from previous Studio Calico kits. I just kind of took them out because hadn't used them in a bit so I thought if I have them close I might end up using them. And the heart one is a Technique Tuesday. It's from The Heart which I don't end up using. And here are some of the things that I might be using. And then I also took out a whole bunch of enamel dots from my mind's eye because I wasn't sure on the shade of yellow that I wanted. I took some Asterix uh, wood veneers, which I don't end up using. And then I took out a whole bunch of um, thickers and the honey sticky keys from October afternoon, the gold ones, and I believe those are called journal, sketchbook, daiquiri is the gold, and kitten was the black and white. And then I took out a few pattern papers. And I'm just looking, I'm not sure if that's the only letters that I, because I already know what my title is. I've been wanting to do this page for a while now. And that will be the challenge on my Facebook group for this week is to do something either for yourself or for your kids using the first letter of their name. So I went and I found these, uh, they're called Nikki Ricky um, thickers. And I pulled them out too. I think I might be using that crepe paper. And here's a here's a picture of my daughter. And uh, it was in front of the falls, but it really has nothing to do with the falls. It's it's a pic it's a page about her. <laughs> and this is a fancy pants paper. And this one here is a Webster's page, Allison Craft. And a lot of these I don't end up using. I use this one, which is a Lucky Charm by Dear Lizzie. And then I do use this one from Simple Stories. I just use the grid side. And then I'm going to use this gray. Distress, Distress Gray by Simple Stories as my background. So now we're going to put it on fast forward and we're going to get this page done. So I just cut the branding strip from the bottom of the page and I'm going to mat the photo with that fancy pants paper. It's a chevron, black chevron. And the main colors of her team are black, gold, and white. So I just wanted to keep it in those colors. So I'm going to cut a strip of that heart paper to kind of ground that photo. And then I took a new piece of wax paper because I knew that basically the entire page really is going to be my title. And my daughter's name is Caitlin. And uh, we spell it with a C. So while we were in Niagara Falls in, in May, as I was taking this picture, this page popped into my head. Because I thought, well, C is for Caitlin, is for cheerleader, is for captain, because she's the captain of her team is for coach because she coaches a team and champion which they didn't win the championship 
in Niagara Falls. They came in second, which is amazing. But the the convention just before, or the the one just before, they did win champion. So I thought, well, it still it still works because um, this once they were done this their year was done so it was kind of a summary of their year so i just wanted a different font for the first c and it's going to remain for that c for quite a bit i think i change it almost i decide on a different one almost at the end of the of the layout i'm going to try a few different ones but um like i said i'm just going to change it at the end so I'm going to take out a doily and there's not going to be a lot of embellishment on this page because really the title is the main thing. So this is the ninth layout using the planetarium kit and it took me an hour and 25 minutes to complete. So I cut out a few of those tags to add to the layout. I'm going to add it in a couple different spots or three different spots and then I knew I wanted to make a few little banners and I'm going to try quite a few different inks and really I could have just because I wanted different shades of yellow and when I first stamp it they really look different but then when I end up putting it on the page you can hardly tell the difference so I should have just done one one whole ink and it, I would have been fine but I just wanted to try to have different shades of uh, of ink so I went into my stash and took out some close to my heart inks and then I'm going to take out more um, th that's a grid paper from Simple Stories. So I want the other flag too with the star in the middle. So I end up stamping way more that I want to use. I only want three, but I don't know which shade I want yet. So, so I decide that I'm going to do the star in black in the middle. And again, I'm just going to use three, but I just wanted the options, I guess. <clears throat> I just want to apologize um, on my Facebook group last couple days. I haven't been very present. I'm just went a couple times and stayed maybe a couple minutes in the morning, a couple minutes at night. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. And uh, so yesterday I basically slept the day away. Don't you just love that? You just have a couple days off and you end up uh, <laughs> being in bed recuperating. But um Today my voice is still a little um, scratchy, but I'm feeling a little better. I did manage to get that page done yesterday. It took quite a few times, um, you know, at 20 to 30 minutes each shot, but I I uh, finally got it done. So I thought I'd upload it today. So I go back to work tomorrow. Uh, and I go back for seven days. So I might upload a layout every second day this week just because I'm working every day. And I know after a night shift, I usually get about a half a page done. So it'll probably take me a couple days, couple days to get a page done. So, and I'll try, like I said, I'll try to pop in on my Facebook page you know, five, 10 minutes a day. But when I, I work 12 hour days, it takes me half an hour to get there, half an hour to get back. So it's it's usually about a 14 hour day before everything is said and done. So I basically work and sleep, <laughs> but I'll try to pop in and, and kind of say hi. So now, like I said, it's not an over embellished page because I want it, it to focus on the title basically and I'm going to start putting everything down and I'm going to put the last word down because I know I want it to end right there and then everything else is going to build up on top of it. 
and I knew that I wanted cheerleader to end right there. So then I thought I'd get that and then the word captain could fit in the middle. So then it was, it was going to be easier to, to make sure that the, the space in between was, was equal. Now I'm going to hang those flags. And I know I want to put some of those tags down that I got from the digital print. And this is where I decide to change the C. It's, it's too small. So I took a Heidi swap letter and I inked it the same color as I did the flags. So I'm going to have to move everything over because that C is so much bigger, but at least now you can kind of see it. And I took a uh, glitz washi tape and it says smile and I'm going to put it in th the three different spots of embellishments. And so basically my embellishment is going to be stars, the washi tape, a little bit of twine that I'm going to, you know, add to all those flags. And then I'm going I want them to have a little bit of pop off the page, I guess. So I'm going to put some foam tape in behind of them, each of them. And then I'm going to make a couple of bows and put it on each side. And I find it's so much easier to do the bows after the fact than instead of leaving the string long enough and then trying to tie a bow. I'd rather just do it separate and then just glue it over top. And right now I'm looking for my little tweet birds. And for the life of me, I could not find them. I eventually found them. They were hiding in behind my uh, sewing machine. And that's why I couldn't find them because they weren't where they were supposed to. But a couple nights ago when I had to stay up most of the night to get that layout done for the YouTube layout hop, I, uh, I was getting the prize ready because I'm just waiting on one more order. and But I was kind of getting everything together. And uh, I had all my wood veneers out. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, I must have, it must have got pushed in behind my, my sewing machine. And, and uh, so it took me a few minutes to, to find it. So I finally found them. And the reason I wanted to put a little bird there is because <clears throat> on her team, she's a flyer. And of course, flyer doesn't start with C, but I wanted it to be there. So I thought if I put a little bird, then it'll kind of, you know, represent that. And, and, uh, I mean, someone that doesn't know anything about cheerleading or whatever, if they're looking at the page, they they won't know, or if they don't know her, they won't know. But for us, I know that uh, we'll know that that's why the bird is there. So I added a couple of glimmer glaze, a yellow and a gray. And here are a few close-ups. And if you want to see some more close-ups, you can join us on my Facebook group. The link is in the description. Or you can go to Two Peas in a Bucket and Studio Calico. Go in the Members Gallery under Nicole Jones 911. And I upload my pages there. That's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.